okay, consider a steam power plant operating on the simple ideal Rankine cycle. Steam enters the turbine at 3 megapascals and 350 degrees Celsius and is condensed in the condenser at the pressure of 75 kilopascals. Determine the thermal efficiency of this cycle. So, sa gilid, meron akong schematic diagram. So, this is yung boiler natin. Ito yung boiler natin. Operating at P is equal to C. Then, papasok yung ating heat. Then, point 0.1 after the boiler, we have from the problem, no? Uh, pressure 1, 3 megapascal and temperature 1 of 350 degrees Celsius. Then at S is equal to C, ito po, dito po pasok yung steam natin, sa turbina din lalabas sa point 2. Then, yung ating turbina, mag-generate yan ng pinatawag natin work ng turbine. Then, at point 2, papasok yung ating steam. Pasok yung ating steam sa tan, sa condenser. Then, magkakaroon na heat rejection. Okay. Then, this is operating at P is equal to C. Then, lalabas steam at point P. Papasok sa pump at S is equal to C. Of course, mayroong work ng pump. And then, lalabas si steam at point 4. Then, pasok ulit sa ating boiler. Okay. So, we have the following given. Okay, so we have uh, steam enters the turbine, point one yan, no? kapasok sa turbina. So we have P1 of 3 megapascals and P1 of 350 degrees Celsius. And then the pressure at the condenser. So we have P sa condenser. Dito raw. Pressure dito. Which is equal to 75 kilopascals. Nagkataon, at this point, point 0.2 and point 0.3, then dito, yan ay P is equal to C. So therefore, this is equal to pressure 2, equal na rin to sa pressure 3, which is 75 kilopascal. So, I'll confirm ko na dito, no? So, we have seven, one, uh, we have 1,000 kilopascals for every 1 megapascal. So, you have 0 0.075 megapascal. Bakit ko ginawa mega Pascal? Kasi yung gagamitin kong uh, values are taken from steam tables by Keenan and Keys SI uh, version. And the pressure doon is in mega Pascal. So para mas madali na lang makita. Then, afterwards, the problem requires us to find the cycle thermal efficiency. So, solution so, hindi naman tayo agad makakapag-solve. Kailangan muna natin hanapin yung values ng, uh, ng mga points, no? mga enthalpy. Okay. At point 1, we have pressure 1 is equal to 3 megapascals. And then we have P1 of 350 degrees Celsius. Okay? So, let na lang natin let. Okay, let uh, P1 be your P saturation at, at point 0.1. So therefore, this is 3 megapascal. So, what are the values no, sa steam tables? And then, I have P1 which is equal to P actual at 1 which is equal to 350 degrees Celsius. So by the way, this is also equals sa P actual. Kasi in reality, P actual naman talaga siya. No? So, i-check kasi natin yung condition at ng steam at point 0.1 using the values found in the steam table at 1. Okay? So, so, 
from table 2 okay at p sat which is equal to 3 megapascal so meron kayong makikita 3 megapascal doon so katapat niya p sat at p is equal to at 3 megapascal nakalagay ay 233.9 degrees celsius lamang so check natin ang condition check condition of the steep since since T1 is greater than T saturation at pressure 1, oh, therefore, it is a superheated vapor. So, ideally naman talaga, no? dapat superheated vapor yung ating uh, point 1. Now, kapag superheated vapor siya, proceed tayo sa appropriate table para kunin yung value. So, sa ang table yun? So, proceed tayo sa table 3. So, from Okay, from table uh, 3. So we have at P1 of 350 degrees Celsius and then T1, uh, sorry, this is T1. T1 Okay, you see nothing? So at P1 of 3 megapascals and P1, which is 350 degrees Celsius. So, check mo. Meron ba daw steam tables, table 3? No? Na meron 3 megapascal at saka 350. So, meron kang makikita. Kapunin ko yung value na H and S. So, you have enthalpy 1 is 3,115.3. 3, kilojoules per kilogram. Kelvin. And then, of course, specific entropy at point 1, according to the table, is 6.7428 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Correction? Walang Kelvin ka. Okay. So, yan na yung values natin, 4.1. Then, proceed tayo at point 2. So, at point 2. Okay. So, ano ang masasabi natin at point 2? At point 2, di ba, meron tayong turbina, heat system natin. So, masasabi natin na S1 is equal to S2. So, yung nakuha natin value ng S sa point 1, equal lang sa value ng S sa point 2. At the same time, no, since P is equal to ito, we can say that P2 is equal to so, meron na tayong dalawang points. S at saka P. Okay? So, I have P2 which is equal sa P ng condenser that is 0 0.075 mega pascals. And then, I have S2 which is equal to S1 na 6.7428 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Box natin ito para hindi na nakalito. Okay. So again, check natin ang condition. So let natin let your P2, which is yung ating P actual, no? At point 2, P equal to your P sat at point 2. So this is 0 0.075 mega pascals. And then I have S2 which is equal to S actual at point 2 with a value of 6.7428 uh, kilojoules per kilogram uh, Kelvin. Okay. So, from, namitin ko na lang table 2. From table 2, from table 2. Okay. So, from table 2. So, at P, Sat of 0 0.075 megapascals, meron tayong P sat, no? P sat at P, which is equal to 
according sa table ito ha, 91.78 degrees Celsius. So, gamitin natin yung uh, specific entropy as a point or, sa, or thermodynamic property para malaman natin yung condition ng steam. No? So, yung reference sa thermodynamic property. So, since S to, pukunin ko sa S F. That is specific entropy at at what? At saturated liquid condition. So, SF2. That is SF at P sub. So, that is equal to what? For this table, we have 1.2130 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And then, I have S sub G2, which is specific entropy at saturated vapor condition. That is SG at P sub. So, ang value po niya is 7.4564 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And then, oh, check natin ito, ito, tsaka ito. No? So, check natin ang condition. Pagkumparahin natin yung tatlong values. So, check condition. So, since, since ano masasabi natin? S sub F2 is less than S2 is less than SG2. Therefore, it is a wet vapor mixture. So, at point 2, ito pala ay wet vapor mixture. So, kapag ideal naman talaga, wet vapor. No? So, since wet vapor mixture siya, meron siyang quality na tinatawag no? yung amount o yung fraction ng no? vapor sa buong uh, system at point 2. So, kahanapin natin yun. So, for quality X, for X sub 2, so, kukunin natin sa entropy ulit. So, property na wet vapor mixture, so, you have S sub 2 is equal to uh, S sub F2 plus S, X sub 2, S sub FG2. Okay. So, since uh, meron na akong SF at SG, yun na lang gagamitin ko. Since S sub FG is equal to SG minus SF. So we have S sub 2 is equal to S sub F2 plus X sub 2 times SG minus S sub F. So ito ay lahat sa point 2. So therefore, quality 2 is equal to S sub 2 minus S sub F2 over SG2 minus S sub F2. So we have S2 of S2, we have 6.7428 minus S sub F2 1.2130 or divided by SG2 7.4564 minus 1.2130. So, meron akong quality na ilan? 1.2130. So, we have X of according sa calculator 0.885 Three three zero two seven or eighty eight point fifty seven zero three three zero two seven percent. Okay, so to find enthalpy two, which lang naman na kailangan natin at point two. So for H two again, property ng wet vapor mixture we have H two is equal to H F two plus X sub two times H F G at point 2. So, saan natin kukunin? So, from table 2, okay, at P, P of 0 0.075 megapascals, ang kukuha natin si HF, no? HF2, that is HF at P sub na yan. P sub ito, no? Which is 
384.39 kilojoules per kilogram. And then we have Hg2, that is Hg at P set at point to top, P set at point two, P set at point two. Iwanagin lang natin. So this is three and uh, sorry, two two seven eight point six kilojoules per kilogram. So we have H two is equal to three hundred eighty four point thirty nine plus X two. Oh, ito na complete natin kanina point eight eight five seven zero three three zero two seven times HFG. HFG to, hindi pala HG na no correction. HFG2. So that is 2278.6. So calculating that, we will be having H2 of 2402.6 kilojoules per kilogram. So ito yung kailangan natin dyan. Next. At point 0.3, no? So, at point 0.3, kailangan natin, ano makukuha natin value? Ito, no? From the given. Kasi P2 is equal to P3. So, we have uh, P3, which is equal to P2, 0 0.075 megapascals. And then, we can say that S3 is equal to S4. However, wala pa tayong value niyan. Ideally, ang condition ng 0.3 is saturated liquid. O, ayun ha. Tandaan niya. So, ito. Saturated liquid yan. Pag hindi binigay. So, thus, no? So, uh, P3 is equal to P sat, no? P sat, which is equal to 0 0.075 megapascal. So yung from table, from table 2 again, okay? So we have uh, at P3, which is equal to P sat, at 0 0.3, 0 0.075 megapascal, yung makukuha ka yung value ng P sub 3. P sub 3, pag saturated liquid, equal lang sa P sub at P sub at 0.3. No? Which is equal again to 91.78 degrees Celsius. And then, ang kailangan natin dito is in H at saka V, no? So, H3, automatically, pag saturated liquid, that is H sub F, no? Yung may subscript, no? Na F. So, HF at P sub 3. Or HF at P3. So, according sa table, at ginamit din natin kanina, that is 384.39 kilojoules per kilogram. And then we have V sub 3, that is V sub F at P sub. So point 0.3. So that is V sub F at P3. So, so according to the table, that is 1.0373. Of course, pagkalimutan ng times 10 raised to negative 3 cubic meter per kilogram mass. So, ito na yung mga kailangan nating values sa saan? Sa point 0.3. Now, at point 0.4 point 0.4 So, yan ay meron tayong pressure, no? P4 is equal to P1. That is equal to 3 mega pascals. 
and then we have S4 is equal to S3. So, kunin natin yung S3 na rin para ma-check natin yung condition. S3 is S sub F at P sub sa point 3. So, this is S sub F at P3. So, that is equal to, according sa table, 1.2130 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So, this is 1.2130 kilojoules per kilogram uh, Kelvin. So, let natin, let natin yung P4, that is P sat at 0.4. Pero in reality, that is your P actual at 0.4, that is 3 mega pascals. And then we have S4, that is your S actual at 0.4. So 1.2130 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Okay? So... Uh, from table 2 at P4, which is 3 mega pascals, meron tayong PSAT, no? O ito yung PSAT. PSAT at 4. Meron tayong PSAT at P4. PSAT at 4. That is 233.9 degrees Celsius, no? And then, meron ako, since S to, pang compare natin, kunin ko si S sub F at 0.4. That is S F at P no? na 3 megapascal, which is equal to 2.6457. 2.6457 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. And then SG at 0.4, that is SG at 3 megapascal. So according to the table, that is 6.1869 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. So compare natin ito, ito, tsaka ito. So check condition. Ano masasabi natin? Since... Since your ating actual na S4 is less than a sub F4, so therefore it is a compressed liquid. So, kung compressed liquid yan, compressed liquid to. S4 is equal to S3. So, IP1 equals P2. IP4, sorry. Okay, so kung yun ay compressed liquid, proceed tayo sa table 4. And kung makikita nyo sa table, no, wala agad yung value. So mag-interpolate pa tayo. And, in, and to be exact, magdo-double interpolate pa. So masyadong mahaba. Gamit na lang tayo ng ating approximate formula for, for enthalpy. So using the approximate formula, So we have H4 is equal to what? Is equal to H3 plus V sub 3 times P4 minus P sub 3. O doon pala yun, no? So we have H4. O meron na tayo nakuha kanina H3. So H3 natin is 384.39. Okay, so this is 384.39 kilojoules per kilogram plus V sub 3. V sub 3 natin is 1.0373 times 10 raised to negative 3 cubic meter per kilogram mass times P4. Ang P4 po natin is 3 minus P3 natin ay 0 0.075. Yan po ay naka mega pascals. So convert natin itong part na to. So times 1 mega pascal for every 1000 
kilonewton per square meter. So, yan ay kilopascals, no? Okay? So, cancel ito. Okay? Cancel ito. May matitirang isang meter dito. Cancel na ito. So, ang magiging unit natin is kilonewton meter. Kilonewton meter per kilogram. So, matitirang unit natin is 1 kilonewton meter per kilogram. Which is equal to 1 kilojoules per kilogram. Cancel mo na yan. Okay, cancel ko na rin to. Ito, matitirang yun. So, parehas na. No? Pwede mo na siyang i-add or i-calculate using calculator. So, H4 is 387.96 kilojoules per kilogram. So, ayan po yung ating kailangan na, na values. Okay? So, try natin i-drawing sa TS diagram yung mga values. TS and HS diagram. So, ito na lang. So, for the HS or Molière no, diagram. Of course, hindi ito accurate. No? So, HS, okay. So, meron akong pressure line. O, oh, ayan. Ayan. So, let's say, ito yung mataas sa pressure. P1, which is equal to P4. That is 3 megapascals. And then, this is yung P2, which is equal to P3. Which is pressure sa condenser na 0 0.075 megapascal. Okay? Next. At point 1, ang given ay H tsaka T. So, lagyan natin na ito yung T. Okay. Ito siya mag-intersect T1 of 350 degrees Celsius. So, this is point 1. Point 1. Yan, point 1 yan, no? H to, by the way. And then, this is S. And then, mag-expand siya, no? Okay? So, from point 1 to point 2 at S is equal to C. So, kung akong vertical line. Yan. Yan, ay S is equal to C. This is your point 2. Project lang natin pa baba. So, we have S1 is equal to S2 na 6.7428 kilojoules per kilogram Kelvin. Okay. So, yan ang ating point 2. So, tama naman. Siya ay wet vapor mixture. And then, magpapasok siya sa condenser, yung steam natin. At P is equal to C. So, susundan natin to pressure line na to. Ayan. So, this is P is equal to C. Then, ang condition niya is saturated liquid. O, ayan. And then, ano mangyari? Papasok siya sa pump, yung steam natin. And then, tataas yung pressure niya. Babalik dito. So, ayan. At, S is equal to C. So, ibig sabihin, S3 is equal to S4. At ang condition ng 0.4 ay compressed liquid. Okay. So, tama naman. And then, at point 4, pasok sa, sa boiler, balik sa point 1. Okay. So, yan yung ating HS diagram. For TS diagram naman, so, ating TS diagram, Okay. So, ito ating saturation curve. Ayan. So, meron tayong pressure line. Dalawa. Okay. So, 
So, ito yung isobar natin. So, this is pressure for the highest one, higher one. P1 is equal to P4. That is yung pressure din na actually ng boiler, no? Kalimutan ko sabihin, that is 3 megapascals. And then, we have P2 is equal to P3. Pressure ng condenser, which is equal to 0 0.075 megapascal. And then, at point 0.1, no? Given, meron tayong given na pressure. Ito, 3 megapascal and then temperature. O, oh, project, project na lang natin. So, ito. Itong aking point 0.1. Superheated siya. No? So, we have P1 of 350 degrees Celsius. Then, ano mangyayari? At S is equal to C. Ayan. Nagiging wet vapor siya. 0.2. So this is S is equal to C from 1 to 2. So this is S1 is equal to S2. By the way, y-axis is T, x-axis is specific entropy. S1 is equal to S2. Then, papasok si steam sa condenser. Okay? Makaroon na heat rejection. Sundan mo lang yung isobar na yan. Then, magiging saturated liquid siya. At P is equal to C. Then finally, pasok si, uh, si steam sa pump. Mag-increase ang pressure. At S is equal to C. So, S3 is equal to S4. And then, four, at point 4, pasok si steam. Pabalik sa boiler. Then, labas sa, sa boiler. So, ayan. At P is equal to C. So, ayan po ang ating uh, yan ang ating PS diagram. So, kung gusto nyo pang i-plot yung H, pwede naman. Okay. So, kung ipoproject ko dito, ito ang aking H1. Ito ang aking H4. So, aking H3, then H2, no? Ito yung aking H2. So, hindi naman siya per scale, no? Basta yan yung uh, rough, uh, rough TS and HS diagram. Now, proceed na tayo sa hinahanap sa wakas, no? Pwede na tayo mag-solve. So, yung required talaga is yung yung ating thermal cycle efficiency. Okay? So, E sub Tc is equal to the work net over energy chargeable, which is yung QA. Okay? Nasaan ba yung work net dyan? So, kung ito ang TS diagram natin, okay, dito pasok si QA, tama, Labas dito si work ng turbina. Pasok dito si work ng pump. And then, ay work ng pump. Dito pala yun. Pasok dito si work ng pump. And then dito is labas. No? Lalabas si QR. So heat projected. Nasaan si work? Diyan. O, ito po. So area dito. O, yung part na yan. Yan yung ating work net. So, mabalik tayo sa solving natin. We have work net. Pwede siyang QA minus QR or over QA or pwede rin work ng turbina minus work ng pump over QA. Okay? So, ito na lang gamitin ko. So, E sub DC. So, work ng turbina. O, oh, ayan, di ba? Ito yan, dito. So, that is H1 minus H H ano? 2. So, work ng turbina is mass of steam times H1 minus H2. Minus uh, work ng pump, no? Work ng pump is H4. Ayan, no? Mas matas yung 4. H4 minus H3. So, that is mass of steam times H4 minus H3 all over 
QA natin. Ito. Right? Minus left. So, H1 minus H4. MS H1 minus H4. So, cancel na natin to. And then, makukuha na natin again yung formula. Diba sabi ko, alternating lang yan. H1 minus H2 plus H3 minus H4 over H1 minus H4. Substitute natin yung values ng mga nakuha natin. We have H1 of 3115.3 minus H2 2402.6 plus H3 384.39 minus H4 387.42 all over 3115.3 minus 387.42. So, makancel na yung unit sa taas at sa baba. Parehas na naman. So, finally, you have cycle thermal efficiency of 0. 0.260154 or 26.0154 4056%. So, ito po ang sagot. So, ang mga around 20 plus percent lang yan pag ranking cycle kasi mababa talaga siya. So, may mga ginagawa para mapataas yung efficiency ng ranking cycle.